You probably have seen these new pulse anomalies. They make a very specific sound when they spawn and they look pretty sweet. But if they appear right over your head, just don't look at them like an idiot and run away. Vortexes are pretty much everywhere now. If you get caught in one, don't panic, just jump in the direction it's pushing you. It's actually pretty easy to get out of it. With the new dynamic loot system, items are spawning pretty much everywhere now. Keeping your F key pressed is a good way to see them in the wild so you don't miss anything. It's also a good way to find the weapons of dead enemies right away. Speaking of enemies, just let them shoot like crazy when you're undercover and rush them when they're reloading. When you find PDAs, always read them because they can have information on secret stashes or routes. If they are locked, bring them to the technician and he will unlock them. Then when you go to sell them, remove the batteries. It won't affect the final price and it's free batteries. The details menu is super useful. On basic items, you can see which parts you're gonna get when you disassemble them. On repair kits, you can see which parts are compatible with them. And on all craftable items, you can see which parts you're gonna need to craft a new one. Same thing with weapons and armor. You can see all the parts you're gonna need to upgrade them or to repair them. Basically, every time you're not sure about something, go to the details menu. If you don't want to give a thousand trouble to a technician every time you want to craft or repair something, you can kill the technician of an enemy faction and use the vice for free. For example, for the bandits, you can find a vice in the truck cemetery and in Dark Valley. Speaking of crafting, disassemble the weapons with the multi-tool because you don't have a choice, but for all the outfits, use the Swiss knife. It's much cheaper that way. And if you find that the disassembling animations are way too long, there's a keybind to remove them. It will make pretty much any action in the game instant, like skinning mutants, eating, drinking, using medicine. Make sure to pick up and read all these little books and guides because they're the only way to learn new craft recipes. You can cook much better mutants meals now by adding purified water. Try to keep your weapons in good shape. They should never go under 85% condition because after that you cannot use the cheap repair kits and it's gonna be a pain in the ass and much more expensive to repair them. Do the same thing with your knife and the multi-tool if you disassemble a lot of things. The disguise system is super useful if you don't wanna fight with enemy factions all the time. Here, as a loner, I'm wearing a military jacket so I can loot the military base. Try to use an outfit that's in good condition and keep an eye on the indicator at the bottom of your screen. Don't stay in sight too long because you might get recognized. You can do the exact opposite by removing the patches from outfits. For example, if I want to visit the Freedom Base with a duty outfit. As soon as you have a good rep with a faction, you can start hiring companions. They are super useful, they can carry your loot for you and you can get it back anytime you want. You can customize what gear and what weapon they're gonna use. And you can give them direct orders by using the numpad. If you have a hard time finding some stashes, check your PDA. There is often some very useful information. Manage your inventory carefully and try to never be overloaded. Having enough stamina available to move around quickly is gonna save your life countless times. Dogs, flesh, stalkers, even boars with some good timing. You can avoid all these mutants attacks by strafing and jumping around. If you meet cats, good luck though, because you're probably fucked. 